mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello everybody true. welcome back. I'm the real Andy Overray Heels and guys it is time to talk about this rumor that is going around about this like loved OG leaving the franchise, okay? But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the very, very troop. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family, you know what to do. And let's talk about this mess, okay? I know that you might be thinking, oh, we're talking about like a housewife or like Teresa or Ramona or Kyle or something like that. But no, we are going to be talking about below deck because uh, there are huge rumors going around that Captain Lee is done with the franchise. Okay. So if you watch the last season of Below Deck, you know that he had to leave for a hot moment you know they replace it with a new captain but he came back like it's a whole deal you know i mean you have to watch the season but anyways um now the rumors are that you know he is trying to really take care of his health Re let's remember that captain lee has been doing this for over 20 years Okay, I'm not talking only below deck. I'm talking like his life as a captain for over 20 years. He is like, I think he's like 60 something at this point. So let's just let's just confirm this uh, information right now. Let's see. I hate Apple. Um, captain Lee H. Oh, damn, he is 71 years old. So, look, at 71, you, you just want to retire, okay? You just want to live, like, a nice life and, and just move on. Um, so, apparently, he just moved to Florida, and the rumors are that he is ready to retire over there. I will not... I mean, how, how are we going to say anything? I mean, Captain Lee... He is the OG of the below deck, okay? He gave us amazing seasons. He was very consistent, okay? He gave us... Oh, well, actually, there was another Captain on season one. Well, anyways, you know what I mean. I mean, Captain Lee is Captain Lee, okay? <laughs> but uh, so he gave us, like, really good seasons. And I feel that Captain Lee was always very fair, fair you know like if you go and look like uh below deck mad like captain sandy mm, she can be sometimes like not that fair and she's more into favoritism you know and like all of that but captain lee was very like i don't care that you are my best employee if you mess shut up i'm just gonna fire you and she doesn't care and he doesn't care about that that's why it really look you can really look the difference between Below deck and below deck met, you know, below deck met to me was always a little bit more um, crazy and a little bit more disorganized that below deck. And I think it's because Captain Lee ran like a more strict uh, ship, you know what I mean? So I'm very happy. I mean, look, I will always love to have more of Captain Lee, you know, and like if he wants to come back and do more seasons, like I'm all here for it. But the poor guy, he has failed. He has been in like, I think her, his past like two seasons, he started like at the hospital, you know, so it's always like, like, I'm so sorry. It's time for you to like have some fun relax go to miami like look at the pre birds you know like live the rest of your life without having to worry about all these crazy people plus girl not only being the captain of a boat is going to be hard now imagine doing that with a whole camera team camera crew around you 24 7. how annoying that must be so I'm just thinking, like, just do you. Now, who is going to replace Captain um, Lee? I have no idea. 
Uh, I read somewhere that they were saying that what about bringing Captain Sandy? I don't think Captain Sandy is below deck material. I will say bring a new captain. Um, but we also need a captain who understands that we are in a reality TV. And I think that's why Captain Lee was good because he understood that this is not only about yachting. This is about yetting on a reality TV and you still need to create drama. You still need to create certain situations, you know, and you, people still need to react to stuff. Um, I remember the first season of Captain Sandy, she didn't understand it. She was very into like perfection, perfection, you know, and like being a captain, you know, like as it should be. But then by season two, she kind of realized like, okay, this is not going to be a perfect you know, thing because we are on a reality TV and on, on reality TV, we don't want to see perfection. That's the thing. We don't want to see perfection. So, um, I'm hoping that they, they bring someone. I would love to see like Eddie, Eddie as a captain, you know, it's his time. He has been doing this also for a very long time. So I think it will be a great thing to like pass the torch like, imagine doing, like, a first episode of next season of, like, Captain Lee passing the keys of the boat to Eddie Luca. I think that will be amazing, you know. Uh, bring back uh, Chef Rachel because I love her and she's amazing. And, I and you know, she's great at reality TV. And, yes, and, and whatever they want to bring next. I think that will be a good development of what it needs to happen now. Uh, I don't know if you saw this, but their new the new um trailer for below deck down under just dropped a couple days ago that is gonna be messy af that's gonna be great reality tv if you haven't watched it go to my instagram it's right there and it's going to be on peacock so girl by now you i have told you this many times you need to get peacock it's 2022 you need to get peacock okay you need to have peacock and hulu period no one watches TV anymore. So got Hulu, got Peacock, and you're good to go. Um, so they're developing this new uh, below deck down under. And do you guys remember Aisha? Well, she is going to be the new um, Stu, Stuart. What is the name? Chief, Chief of Stu. Stu she's going to be the Chief of Interior. You know what I mean? And they have this gorgeous, like, ultra hot captain. And, like, everyone is hot. And, like, they're all going to be getting drunk and naked and kissing. And it's going to be... And you know Australians by themselves. They are messy as fuck. So, like, I'm dying to party with Australians, okay? That's, like, my, my kind of people. But, like, it's going to be, like, really, really, really good. So, go and watch that. So, anyways, let's see what is going to happen. I hope that this is not the end of... I mean, I don't know. Like... Like, I want to keep watching Captain Lee, but only if he's up to keep doing it. I don't want him to be risking his health. Um, I think it is time for him to, like, go be with his wife, uh, live the rest of their life, like, in peace, uh, go to Miami, retire, be happy, and pass the, cho the, the, the torch. And I'm really hoping it's going to be Eddie Luca. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.